boas pessoal, estamos de volta mais uma vez para continuar aqui a Trailblaze Continuous a missão aqui neste momento de Shenzhou Lofo vamos para a parte 5 By Words of Many ou traduzido pelas palavras de muitos e bem, sem mais demoras vamos lá Wait, não me levou até lá que estranho okay. ah, já, vamos voltar a conversar com os generais right Yep. Oh, Divine Foresight. Foi chão também. Eu não estou em erro. Uma parte que eu ponho lá. E yeah, ainda tinha que fazer a missão da Fuxuan com a March. Ups. Fiquei para a próxima. <laughs> Earlier at the Palace of Astral, I introduced these guests from the Astral Express to you, Elder White. But with all the people around, We only exchanged pleasantries. Now, I'd like to officially introduce them to you. These three braved great dangers, accompanying me to perilous places, defeating the chief culprit Vantilia, and uncovering the conspiracies of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Yeah, you that's us. Please, feel free to ask us. Well. I skimmed through the reports about the Arbor's rebirth from the Master Diviner Hu Xuin. She's been summoned to the Yu Chue for questioning. There are a lot of doubts within the Alliance about this whole situation. But despite all that, I believe in you. That's real, man. The respect. You the ranks. You have repeatedly achieved remarkable feats. After the High Cloud Quintet each went their separate ways, despite the many criticisms within the Alliance, the Marshal still stood firm against the dissenting voices and entrusted the Lawfu to you. Over That's real. the years, you've served the Alliance with loyalty and wisdom. You've taken down abominations in Thalassa, rescued the Xianzhou Yuchui from a siege, and destroyed the demonic planet summoned by the denizens of abundance. I still remember those battles vividly. Back on the good old days. There are fools who doubt your loyalty. They're happy to see the divine foresight fail because it gives them some kind of sick satisfaction. They haven't achieved anything of their own, so they feed off the failures of others. But I've seen enough failures in my time. And I want to believe that your loyalty has never wavered. So, General Fei Xiao of the Yao Qing is the only one investigating the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis on behalf of the Alliance? That's crazy, man. That's Fei Xiao. Uh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. So, General Fei Xiao. I am too. Okay. I am too. I am. Words always catch me off guard. Crazy old man. The marshal ordered me to come to the Xianzhou Lawful, but the document only says attend the war dance and listen to Fei Shao's questioning. What does that mean? The marshal is well aware of Jing Yuen's purpose in holding the ceremony and understands the situation he is facing. She mentioned it because she believes both issues are. Thanks for your kindness and sincerity, Elder Huayan. But is it appropriate to tell everyone here about the Marshal's orders? Wait, wait. The Marshal is well aware of you. Quem é o Marshal? Acho que são tudo. By introducing the Express's witnesses to me alone, Aren't you aiming to discern the intentions behind both my actions and Fei Shao's? And whether there's any discord between us? Well, since I'm being open and honest with you, I encourage you young folk to do the same. As for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, all I need to do is listen. General Fei Shao will be the one asking the questions. To be honest, I'm more concerned about the timely start of the war dance. I am. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've prepared a gift for the war dance. Oh? A 
Could provoke a Yunlin. Nope. Okay, I see. Yes, it's this case right here. The case gleams with a must with a metal luster crafted from a material neither wood nor metal. Wait, the fuck is that? Its surface is masterfully woven with metallic threads outlining an integral pattern of lotus flowers. Okay. I mean yeah, I'll pattern the Yunli. That all will be numerous contests and I mean I'll pattern brunch the alliance deals. The main event will be the wingmaster's challenge. The host will zoom in, zoom in, take on challengers from all over the cosmos, showcasing the excellent martial arts of the Sienjo Lawfu. When you mentioned that the Astral Express would be attending the ceremony, I thought the High Elder of the Lawfu would be the ringmaster. <laughs> you humor me, Elder Huai. The healer lady is just a young lady who knows nothing about martial arts. How can I assign her as the ringmaster? Interesting. <laughs> I'm no match to you when it comes to joking. What's this box for? Why don't you open it, General Huayan? Why don't you open you, this March? This case is intended for the war dance's award. Oh, it's okay. Now, but in a few days, a precious sword will be delivered and stored inside. Deixa me adivinhar, provavelmente foi feito pela Yun Lee. Ela pelo menos já sabe o que ela é a espada. Yo, wait, é capaz de lá não saber, já que é capaz de ter sido feito pelo Wyan também. Wyan? É tão difícil dizer o nome dele. Portanto, provavelmente vai pertencer ao Yan King ou. Yun Lee que ganharam o festival. Ou então não, who knows, main character. I don't mean to boast about After all. Skills. But this sword represents the pinnacle of yeah, the Chinese zoomings. craftsmanship. It has a legendary history, full of heroic tales from foreign lands. Tales that are too detailed to be summarized in just a few words. Since the delegation delivering the sword hasn't arrived yet, I'll just leave the case here for now. I've been wondering who would be worthy of such a sword. And then it hit me. I can award it to the champion of the Ringmaster's Challenge. The ceremony's champion is sure to be a perfect match for the sword. Yeah, that's fair, man. Huh? Moreover, I hear that Yen Xing is an excellent swordmaster, and that he will be representing the Lawfu as the Ringmaster. So it seems like a perfect gift for him. Thank you for your generosity, Elder Huayan. If you want to give me a sword, just say the word, Grandpa. No need to beat around the bush. I am. You've got confidence, my girl. But I don't think you can best... Oh, you. shit. <laughs> I know you're all about swords, Miss Yun Li. It's just a shame that it's the sword that ultimately chooses its rightful master. Yeah. And even if someone gets their hands on such a precious sword, it'll probably end up in someone else's. I am. The outcome of our duel at the Alchemy Commission is still up in the air. Since you're interested, why don't you represent the Xianzhou Juming and challenge me in the ring? That's exactly what I had in mind. Nobody knows who's gonna come out on top. It could be me, could be someone else. It'll probably be me. <laughs> Whatever happens, it won't be him. That's crazy. Looks like Feisha was right. I mean, not a previsible match. It be, it will be either that or disaster when these two clash. I should watch guys' point. I'm too curious. Show me something. I think it's equal. Not to be rude or anything. We've been watching their drama. I'm dying to find out who beats who. <laughs> Calm down, March. Quiet down. We have other guests here. I've prepared this sword to add some excitement to the ceremony, not to have you two squabble. It's not a good look for the Alliance. 
Eu não sei se disse em vídeo no, no episódio anterior, mas de qualquer forma, independentemente de ter dito ou não, volto a repetir. Se, se eles dois lutarem a sério, pelo que eu notei da fight, basicamente o Yon King é mais rápido e consegue dar melhor dodges. Tem mais técnica em geral, mas a um, Yunlin é muito mais forte e parece que tem mais resistência. E o que acontece é naquele clash final, antes de um, fechar o parar os dois, se aquele tivesse conectado, eu tenho quase certeza que a um, Yunlin iria ter ganho a luta. Ah não, e que era um Maboy Yan King que ganha pelo manzão, mas pelo que eu estava daquela luta, eu acho que a Yunlin ia ganhar se juntasse. Posso estar errado. Mas eu parece-me ter sido o resultado. Ou ia ser o resultado. Vamos ver como é que vai ficar depois. Ui, eu vou drogar. Ai, pô. Espera, não. We don't know who the winner will be, and it might not be either of you. Damn. But if you're eyeing that prize, you'll need to work together. I want you to take on an apprentice who will take part in the war dance and win at least one match. We don't know, and it might be not. But if you're eyeing that prize, you will need to work together. I want you. I want you. Mas o que? Para geral, para os dois ou para a Poyan King? Olha a Poyan King. To take on an apprentice, one will take part in the war dance and win at least one match. I mean, pelo que nós tivemos a ver um, já dos spoilers que a Mihoyo deu dos patches, provavelmente vai ser a March, não é? Interesting. Ela já está aqui a, a combinar os dois. Good old man. How does that make sense? Bro, eles estão tão em sintonia. While a cloud knight is commendable by securing victories, it's even more so to pass on your skills and spread the way of swordplay. Yeah, fair enough. I'd be greatly pleased if this apprentice could represent the Express in the war dance by displaying their cloud knight flair and prowess. Well, <coughs> Elder Huayan's idea is quite interesting. Imparting swordplay skills requires teamwork. And both the winner and the loser will learn a valuable lesson regardless of the outcome. The question is, whom should the two of them take as an apprentice? Damn, I'm so lovish, Pa Huh? Who? Wait, me? I noticed just now that Miss March seemed quite interested in the outcome of your sword fight. So I thought, why not teach her the art? I mean, yeah, to be fair. Why don't you choose Dan Hang? I mean, ele é mais. I mean, ele sabe usar a lança, não é? Why don't you choose me? Just accept your fate, your fate march. Acho que não vale a pena dizer o Dan Hang, eles vão dizer que por ele ser o Inbibitor Lunar ou something like that, não precisa dizer isto. Morte provavelmente a ficar com o feito, mas eu estou curioso o que acontece for eu. O seu talento é muito único. Você também interessado em sorte? Maybe, no futuro vou ter um Hunt Buff também. Mas você sabe, baseado nos meus anos de julgar as pessoas, você não precisa ir em sorte play para aumentar os seus interesses. And I doubt there's anyone out there who can really show you the way forward. I am. As for Miss March, she's like a piece of jade in the rough. Just wait. <laughs> That's crazy. I appreciate your kind words, General Huayan. 
But won't teaching me swordplay be a waste of Yanqing and Yunli's time? They should be preparing for the ceremony. I am. Plus, I heard that each swordmaster has their own special moves. What if they let something slip while teaching me? If everyone knows each other's tactics, won't that make it hard to catch people off guard during the war dance? I mean, honestly, just after the Shimazi Club Rat. Considerate of you, March 7th. But don't worry. It'll take you at least a decade of hard training before you can even start learning special moves. I am not crazy. A few zooming swordplay tricks will mean you'll be more than equipped. Oh? R really? Looks like March's curiosity has been piqued. Yeah, that's how you get it. <laughs> the whole point is to know each other's moves. Defeating your opponent in just one move? How boring would that be? Yep. Plus, what really decides a swordsman's fate isn't some special move. It's the solid fundamentals. So Miss Yunli has already agreed. What do you say, Yang Ching? General, I I haven't graduated yet. How can I be qualified to teach swordplay to others? I mean, it's a whole opportunity for graduates. O pessoal aprende mais quando ensina o que sabe. Isso é um fuck. Preciso globalmente. So you're admitting your defeat, huh? If you're not even confident to teach, why don't you let me be the ringmaster instead? Ah, isso vai ser suficiente para Black Spark. Teaching an apprentice is also a way of honing your own skills and gaining insight. Exactly. You've been an apprentice for years. It's about time you looked at swordplay from another perspective. I see, General. Then count me in. Now that Yang Ching has agreed too, it all comes down to Miss March giving her nod. <sighs> it's up to you to make the final decision, March. Yep, I just want to say that I'm afraid. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. Probably I'm going to say something. You already know that I'm going to be the set. Unfortunately, this is one of those things that my heart did. Can you spoil it? Time for you to become the best sword master on the express. It won't be a walk in the park, that's for sure. It's all up to you, though. <laughs> At least that way, I won't have to worry about you accidentally shooting me in the butt all the time. I am. <laughs> hey, I've never missed my target. Sra? Then I'm on board. Thank you for your kindness, General Huang. You got this. Great. Starting tomorrow, Yen Ching and Yun Li will teach you the basics of the Cloud Knight's swordplay. What was it you were thinking? Yeah, this will be the same case as the that event with the Topaz in Bellabog, so it's an event permanent. Uh, any player in the future will have the capacity to obtain a march. I don't know if you have the ult ideal, but basically it shows a bit of the teachings of both Yen Ching and Yun Li. I think it's interesting. Promete-se, já vi neste momento. Think of it as a little initiation gift. You're too kind. Wait, you're giving me a gift? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Seat of divine foresight, wit. Ah, General Huayan's gone. Wait, why does something? Feel off about what we talked about. Interesting. Uh. You? Nah, nah, nah. I don't want that. Uh, I think we strayed off topic. How did things even get to this point? Yeah, I brought you here because the general said he had some important matters to discuss. But how in the world did Yun Li and I suddenly become Miss March's swordplay mentors? <laughs> That's crazy. Because General Hua Yan wants us to stick around on the Law Fu for some time. Oh, this film would sound smart. But aren't we here to attend the ceremony anyway? I mean, nothing to learn. We had to see the quaker moments. But from his point of view. We're no different from all the other tourists who may leave at any time. Since the crew's actions were mentioned in the Lofu's operations log were given to the Alliance, he probably wants to see firsthand if we're as capable as the report claims, 
Or if we're just some made up excuse to save face. I am your he wants to see it for himself during the war dance, which is why he even dragged Yun Li into this. What began as a simple contest between two sword masters has <laughs> now evolved into you two collaborating to mentor March. Elder Huayan is still that tricky general who likes to give everyone a headache. My apologies. I am. Be told, I invited all of you to the ceremony because I wished for you to act as my witnesses. Now I apologize for not disclosing this information earlier. In the coming weeks, I'll also invite all of you to a meeting with General Fei Xiao, where you may need to answer her questions and clear up any doubts she might have. So please, be prepared for the meeting. Damn, bro. A gente era para estar aqui para ser turistas e para dar no chill, bro. No worries, it's no big deal. Perhaps we should just pack up and leave tonight. <laughs> Realmente. Did we do something wrong? Not we really. We did save the Lafu, so why do you want to sneak off like we're fugitives? I mean, no, I'm not sure if I'm as bothersome. I'll stay here as a witness and answer any questions she might have. I am. That's my boy. Thank you, everyone. You can so kindly. I know there isn't much I can do to share your burden, but. Hmm. As the Lawfu Ringmaster, I won't let anyone defeat me in the war dance. Oh shit! That's my boy. <laughs> Royal. Well, Ele consiga o W neste momento, é que my god, man. Not a single one. Not a mal if I show me, it's their old comrade. The illustrious oh, Yukong. Oh, Yukong. For me, and for so long, too. It's quite an honor. It's been a while, General Feixão. Ela tinha um parceiro, não era? Mas por causa do que aconteceu, ela acabou por morrer. Yeah, just, we know it. Provavelmente ela deve lembrar-se. Desses tempos olhar para o Fechel, já que eram tão parecidas, de certa <risos> forma. Well, I wouldn't say I haven't seen you in 30 years. After all, your great victories are announced through the Yellow Bell Resonance System every day. So I'm well aware of your great feats. How's your health holding up? Ever cope with God time? Still stable, I suppose. Do you still remember the medic who saved me in battle? Xiao Q? That healer with the odd name and peculiar temperament. What was his name again? Was it Pichu? Or Katyo? Jiao Qiu, no? Jiao Qiu. Yeah, Jiao Qiu. He's been my retainer and personal healer, delegated by the Alchemy Commission from the Xianzhou Yao Qing. Over the years, he's dedicated himself to managing my condition. I still know this is good sound. I'm still in good health today. Given my background, I'm happy to have made it this far. I'm relieved to know that you're safe and sound. Well then, since you and Elder Hua Yen are here, I imagine you must have received orders from the Marshal? As your friend, may I ask how the Alliance intends to punish the General of the Law Fu? Wait, wait, what? That you are safe and sound well then, since you're... Marshal, I'm just going to say this, Marshal. Come on, bro. The Arbor's rebirth has frightened the elders who lurk behind the scenes. They fear the resurgence of abominations, much like what happened 30 years ago. Although the report from the Lawfu explained all the details, we don't know if the Ruin Legion really invaded, 
or how exactly the Stellaron Hunters and the Astral Express became involved. This puzzle has many missing pieces. As you know, the fugitive Jing Liu, who mysteriously disappeared many years ago, has resurfaced. This time, she has brought along an outworlder and a coffin, claiming to offer the Marshal a method to fight against the Eons. Oh, wait, that's Sirenio? The fugitive. God, resurface. Yeah, watch. Interesting. The Law Fu Preceptor has also leveled accusations against Jing Yuan for neglecting the Alliance's principles. She asserts that Jing Yuan enabled the exiled Imbibitor Lune to re enter the Law Fu, thereby unlocking the Lunarescent Deaths within Scale Gorge Waterscape, which in turn disrupted the Vidyatara's dutiful watch over the Ambrosial Arc. Damn, she went full AWP, bro. Snitch. I got a. Agora tá explicado. Poxa, sem ser isso, eles não, não iam saber como é que as coisas aconteceram. E é por isso que estão a culpar o general disto tudo. Fair enough. It is for these reasons that I have come here to the law foo today. Well, duty calls. Perhaps I shouldn't have mentioned all of this to an uninvolved person. But since we once fought together, I didn't want to keep you in the dark. Perhaps pretending you didn't hear any of this would be for the best. Yep. I understand. I'm sorry. I was out of line. I know I shouldn't be defending General Jing Yuan right now, but... Well, you know how I am. The Law Fu has enjoyed centuries of stability since the end of the sedition of Imbibitor Lune, much of which can be attributed to General Jing Yuan's masterful strategizing. Por acaso, agora que eu penso bem, ela é capaz de ser um dos personagens mais trágicos de Lofo neste momento. Perdeu basicamente a filha dela recentemente. Há uns tempos atrás perdeu uma das melhores amigas, basicamente uma irmã de combate. Em guerra. E agora o general favorito dela está a ser culpado de coisas que estavam fora do seu controle. God damn. It's tough, man. E ela perdeu a capacidade de voar, também é verdade. Enduring through the ages always culminates in a failure that undoes all previous achievements. A moment that our adversaries relish. That's tough. That's true. And that's why I'm also here for another purpose. To visit Hulei. Hulei? Hulei? You mean that Hulei? I am that Hule. The same Hule who has been imprisoned in the shackling prison for over seven centuries? Yeah, that's Hule. So pode ser. The nemesis of the Foxians who will never be forgiven and shall be imprisoned until the end of the cosmos. I can't quite remember the exact wording, but yes, the very same Hule. Usually, only emissaries from the Xianzhou Yao Qing Skyfaring Commission visit him once every century. Why do you have to visit him now, of all times? The Foxians and the Alliance made a pact to combat the abominations, aiming to achieve justice and free their kin. That werewolf monster is to be forever imprisoned in the dark recesses of the Shackling prison, facing unending retribution. Given the situation on the Law Fu, those on the Yao Qing are concerned about Hu Lei's imprisonment. I'm afraid that the routine visit every century is no longer sufficient to ease their concerns. That's why I was sent here, to reassure them. <sighs> It's all bad news. Well, not everything. There might be a silver lining. Oh, by the way, I found some clues about the thing you asked for. Hm. Tell me more. The Verdant Knights followed the route you mentioned and discovered the wreckage of the Whistling Flame ship. Unfortunately, there were no survivors and no cargo. <sighs> wait, wait, what? He 
it's all bad news. Well, not everything. There may be all the routes you might imagine discover the wreckage. However, someone had already been on the scene before we arrived. Our people? Or someone from the IPC? No, neither. You come. Have you heard of a person named Ron May? I am. That's crazy, se mencionado assim. Well deserved rest. This night you're restless from the meeting the general and bustling crowd from the warners. Keeps you from falling asleep. Day two. Time to do it for finish day one. I'm still feeling sleepy. <laughs> Damn. Mas bem, pessoal. A missão já está a ficar longa. Vamos acabar por aqui. Vejo-vos no próximo episódio. E fui.